Welcome back. You may have seen him on last season's The Voice on NBC, but did you know he's from our area? Artist Eric Hu has been busy since his time competing on NBC competition series. He stopped by our studio earlier to share what's going on as well as new music. Take a look. All right, this is an exciting interview. We are joined with Eric Hu. You may remember him from The Voice. We spoke with you last year. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, my goodness. A yeah. lot has happened in a year. It's been a minute. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for coming back. We're so excited. You made it to top 13. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, let's just kind of recap the okay. experience. Wow. The Voice. Wow, I learned so much. I learned so much. It was my first time performing on a stage that's not gospel in church. Right. Um, the first time I could be my authentic self. That was also, in a way, like a coming out for me because like that was the first time that I was like very public about my sexuality, and then that was very in my story on the show as well. So it was a lot, a lot of positive. I'm going through a bad breakup at the same time, but we had to do what we had to do, honey. <laughs> we had to pull it through. Yeah. I get, gotta ask this. I mean, you're yeah. you're auditioning, you're on there. Everybody's got their chairs turned. You're singing, and then you get that first chair that turns. Oh. What did that feel like? Oh, so like Camila turned around. I want to say within like the first line of the song. So that took like a lot of nerve. Of course, when you're doing a blind audition, the goal is make somebody turn around. Somebody right. got to hit that button. So for that to happen so early on in the song, I'm like, okay, it has happened. I can take a breath. I shouldn't be nervous. I'm on the show now. <laughs> so um, forever grateful for her. I learned so much from her, so many tips and tricks on how to be an artist, how to bring the stage presence. I just felt like she really understood me. And yeah. since The Voice, I mean, your journey didn't stop. You're here, right. you're back home, yeah. you're still grinding, right? Still, you're busy. Still. You probably have some sneak peek music that you're going to share with we're us. We're going to do that so, today. Okay. We're excited to listen. Tell us, um, what have you been up to? And wow. talk to us about the album. So after the show, um, I did release an album. I also made a band. Um, and that band, we just go around South Carolina. That's my home state. Um, we go around South Carolina, Georgia, everywhere, honey. <laughs> we just perform. Um, and then the album I made is called Think happened that was pretty much the breakup from when it started all the way down you know you have oh my god I'm so in love oh my god I love this oh my god forever marriage <laughs> and then it's like oh this ain't gonna work out and then you get dumped like I did and I just wrote a album that conveys every emotion of a relationship and then a breakup so I'll be doing one of the songs from that and on top of that, you've been huge online as well. Thank People you. are going to find you on TikTok. They find you yes. on Instagram. You're on YouTube. Yes. Uh, I mean, what's the best way to follow Eric Hu and see what Eric's doing? I would say TikTok. That's my most followed platform. We 2.8 million followers and <laughs> love all of y'all to death, girl. Wow. Um, and yeah, over there, I see I got a little kitchen over there, a little set. I should come back and whip y'all up some. I can't cook for hell. Can I cuss? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> see, I go cuss it, you know. But um, I'm getting into food reviews. I usually only do drink reviews, but now I'm getting into food reviews. I just started my pescatarian journey, so now I only eat fish and shrimp. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's you can find me on TikTok. That's my main platform. All right, that menu is coming in the kitchen. Okay, okay. yeah, you're. I'm hungry. I like to eat, so I'll give Come you a on. review. Okay, we can put this on TikTok. And I always like to ask this, but mm. what's words of encouragement or just some motivation that you would give to people at home, whether it come from you know other artists out there or maybe mm. some people that want to get big into the social media? Okay world, what would you tell them? I would first want to target my, um, my community, the LGBT community, specifically feminine boys. So I would say don't limit yourself. Don't feel that you have to water down your personality. Don't feel that you have to over-exaggerate your personality too. Um, be your authentic self and I like to show that if I can accomplish certain things like the voice and the social media following, you can too. And I don't have to pretend to be something I'm not. I don't have to hold myself back. So that's, I want to target y'all first because y'all, y'all right here in my heart. Um, and then just for anybody that's looking for, um, you're just working hard at something and you want it to work out, keep pushing. Don't compare yourself and compare your journey to others because that's when jealousy and envy can come in. And Nothing will be successful if those two things are in the midst. You do you. That's exactly You what do you. Yeah, yeah. Like nobody it. else can do that. And speaking of accomplishments, we're going to check out some of his accomplishments as well. Eric's going to be singing the original tune for us. Yeah. yeah. That's coming up in just a little bit. Stand by.